Hello, my name is Taylor and I'm the host of my very own talk show, talk, Talking With Tay. On today's episode of Talking With Tay, I will be interviewing some of our very own senior soccer players and also our head coach, Brian Lawson. Today we have with us one of our very own senior Yellow Jacket soccer players, Audio Placencia. I am going to ask him two questions today. Your first question is, what would you say your pregame ritual consists of? Um, just listening to music and uh, really warming up with my assistant coach Chevy, like take deep breaths, try not to get out of control before the game, just do me making my own love. Okay, and you are the team captain, correct? Do you, due to you being the team captain, what would you say, what qualities make you a good team captain? Uh, some is being able to view the whole, the whole field where I'll be sending <coughs> Also, being a loudspeaker really helps the team out, letting them know, letting my players know where, um, where and who's behind them and stuff like that, whether they can make the passes or not. Just being vocal and being able to have a good kind of point of view. Okay, and you are also goalie, correct? What would you say your favorite thing about being the goalie is? Uh, just flying around in the air and making good saves, which not many goalies are good enough to be able to do that, just with the heights and stuff like that, but it's, it's fun being a goalie, fun being honest. What would you say led you to playing the goalie? Uh, my eighth grade year, I was a, I played mid, but I guess I got a little bit chunkier because uh, I decided to be a, a goalie and uh, from there, I liked it. Today we have with us one of our very young jacket soccer players, Kevin Cervantes. I'm going to ask him two questions today. Your very first question one, due to you being a senior, what's some advice you would give to the freshmen? Well, we were based in a school, um, made, it, made proud of the people who loved you, and always tried to succeed and be the best one I want you to do no matter what. Okay. and. This season, as a team, what would you say you want to accomplish together? Well, we hope to get the first place in the region, and from there, keep doing our best um, to advance into the playoffs. Today we have with us Coach Brian Lawson. He is the head varsity coach of our JDHS uh, soccer team. I'm going to ask him three questions today. The first question is, how would you describe a typical day of practice for your boys? Well, um, we like to start off out at practice. We do a good warm up, good stretch. Um, as we're getting them stretched out, my assistant coaches, Coach Torres, Coach Franco, and Coach Chevy, get the practice plan together. We'll talk today before about what we're going to do. We get all the equipment set up. We go to an individual skill drill. So if it's a shooting drill, a defending drill, a short passing drill, possession drill, um, for about 20, 25 minutes, we'll move into a group drill where we take whatever skills we worked on from that earlier drill to the group, and we'll eventually take that group drill into the scrimmage. Um, I like to scrimmage as much as possible every day just so they get used to playing with each other and um, taking game-like practice drills into a game on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and the varsity night that it can carry over um, to that. But if we have a game like we had last night against Applin, there's a couple things that we're going to watch film today during planning and make sure everything's good and then gear those drills towards what we need to fix from previous games. Okay, and I know your goalie, Audio Placencia, he plays football and soccer. Yep. How would you, what's your opinion on a multi-sport athlete? I oh, love it. I'm also the recruit coordinator for the football team and so anytime we talk to a college um, the first thing they ask, besides grades, is what other sports do they play? So we have um, Gio Marquez, um, Oscar Marquez, Angel Mendez, and Adio Placencia are all football players for us also. Um, on top of that, most of our guys also run cross country or do track, um, wrestling. We love for them to not specify in one specific sport, but to do multiple things because it not only helps you in your sport, but it will also help you in your skill sets for other things that you don't uh, really use a lot. So I love, love multi-sport athletes. That's huge. Okay, and this season, what do you plan on doing differently that you didn't do last season? All right. So. 
hopefully finish the season because COVID shut us down um, right after the Bacon County game. We're actually ready to go to Tombs last year and got shut down. But um, the previous two years, my first two years here, we back-to-back -back Elite Eight performances. We made it to the Elite Eight, played model and got beat, made it to Union County Elite Eight and got beat um, this past year. Um, we were really gearing and upping our training and our play to make that late season push um, to get past the Elite Eight. We had a lot of young guys playing last year to try and get playing time and experience in different positions and then with us getting shut down, they're still young guys because they didn't get a lot of playing time. Um, so they're now moving in different spots this year, but we have geared everything, our training, our schedules, personnel, to make a push past the Elite Eight. Like, we have been a very dominant team in Region 2A here, and we want to be the team that breaks through and will get to the Final Four and make a state championship push and just keep the tradition of Jeff Davis athletics and soccer here alive and keep going. Okay, and due to COVID being prominent, uh, how would you say that's changed the way of soccer compared to last year? Okay, so, Usually, the biggest thing for me at practice, we um, no water bottles. We can't use a trough, a hose, any of that. So we got to have individual water bottles for every guy. Um, try and keep us social distance as best we can. Um, we go in the locker room, make sure they come out right away. They're not sitting with each other so we don't get a shutdown because of quarantine with another student. Um, any type of any symptom of anything, they're sent home, communicate with the nurse to see where we need to be at. Um, Game time, we have a set seating chart on the bus, so I know exactly where everybody's at just in case something happens. We can pull the correct kids away and minimize the, as much quarantine as possible, as well as at games. We're socially distant as best we can on the sidelines. Um, individual water bottles, I got to write numbers on the bottles um, for them each game, and you're not allowed to shake hands no more, all that. So. There's a lot of little things that's going on with us being outside when outside sport is not as um, over the top as basketball or some of these other indoor sports, but um, we do the best we can to keep socially distant and keep the program rolling. Okay. Um, I hope to see y'all out. Come support the Jeff Davis uh, soccer team. When is y'all's next game? We Our first home game is Friday against Bryan County. Uh, we'll be recognizing the middle school boys soccer team that won the conference championship this year for the first time. So they'll be recognized between the girls game and the boys game. But um, first home game of the year against Bryan County. We'll have a little uniform surprise for some guys with the blue, with the uh, with our boys that nobody really knows about a lot. We've been waiting. We we're supposed to do it last year and COVID shut us down. So um, if you can make it out, support the boys, support the girls, support the Jeff Davis soccer program.